Hi guys, in this video we'll be looking at an introduction to monetary policy and then we'll be finishing off with a summary. So maintaining a low and stable inflation is one of the government's macroeconomic objectives and in previous videos we have discussed about the cost of inflation and the benefits of inflation and therefore we can evaluate why we would specifically want to have a stable inflation rate. And there are six other macroeconomic objectives that we are going to care about, and they are having a balance of payments, ensuring job stability, making sure there's a balanced budget, a certain minimum level of living standards, maintaining a level of economic growth, and then also our environmental standards. So to achieve this stable inflation, the government has an inflation target of 2%. So in the UK, the government has an inflation target of 2%. So the government currently desires inflation to be at 2%. However, there is a window of acceptability of 1% above and 1% below. So if inflation lies between 3% and 1%, then it's described to be on target. However, we want our inflation to be at 2% ideally. However, another example of the state of inflation within a region or a country, and in this case we're going to be talking about a continent or a trade block, which is the EU, and the EU has their inflation target set at below 2%. So they want their inflation close to 2%, maybe not quite at 2%, and they would be accepting of inflation of anything below 2%. And these are strict rules that the government or the central bank applies to their inflation targets. Now, the Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of England uses policy to control inflation. So the Bank of England is going to be the central public body that is in charge of maintaining inflation at that target. So the MPC, or the Monetary Policy Committee, is the body within the Bank of England responsible for the conduct of monetary policy. And the MPC is going to use interest rates and quantitative easing to control inflation, and both of which are forms of monetary policy. And we have learned a little bit about how the central bank can influence inflation rates using interest rates. However, we will be learning more directly about how quantitative easing or QE will manage our inflation. So monetary policy is going to consist of the decisions made by the government regarding monetary variables such as the money supply and the interest rate. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you're looking for an amazing A-level economics resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make A-level economics a walk in the park.